No cookies. No, we're having dinner. Well, no cookies. No cookies. Today we're gonna make sausage pockets. Today is not really the typical type of video that I would have done. I want to incorporate something called cleaning out my fridge because, I mean, realistically, that's how we cook. Uh, today, I'm just cleaning out my fridge and we're gonna make sausage pockets. So I have some carrot and celery, onion, banana pepper, cabbage, field roast sausage, slightly sad spinach, and some more kale, which was also kind of sad. So I'm gonna use this up and we're gonna stuff them into some vegan puff pastry. I don't really have a recipe, I don't really know what I'm doing, so let's see how this goes. First I'm gonna make a flax egg. One tablespoon of flaxseed per egg. So I'm using two of these. And by egg I really mean just binder. And then six tablespoons of water, which is also a quarter cup plus two tablespoons. Ooh, 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 ooh. Two. And then you stir. And then you kind of let it get kind of goopy. Yeah, so we're gonna cook these ingredients so that they're kind of hot, and then we're gonna roll out the dough, fill them into little sausage pocket top things. I don't know why I'm doing this for pockets. I mean, I guess this is a pocket, but this, I don't know. Rolling. Pan, that's why I can do Do you guys ever like start going somewhere, but then immediately forget why? It happens to me all the time. I also don't really know the spice situation of this. I'm gonna cook it and then add spices and then we'll see how it goes. You feel preheated. I'm gonna add some oil. Two teaspoons. If you don't wanna cook with oil, just cook with water. I'm gonna add some uh, onion. So everything is dry. We're not gonna have another splatter episode. Oh yeah. That's how you know you've preheated it. And I'm gonna cook these in an order that won't make all the vegetables sad. When you overcook vegetables, it's just not a fun time. Overcooked vegetables are the reason why nobody likes certain vegetables. So these are looking quite nice. And I'm gonna add some garlic. This is like three cloves of minced garlic. So as I mentioned before, I start out every recipe with like a ton of garlic and onion. But if that's not your jam, then you know, you do what you want, man. And then we're gonna cook this stuff. So celery and carrot, which I always have in my kitchen, but I don't really like eating raw. I just always add it to dishes. Add lots of flavor. I'm also gonna add some water because it's a little dry. So I got a bowl of put stuff in for later. Oh, you know what would be good for this? White wine. You want to drink? Wait, are we, are we driving? Can you drink? Mm. You have a course too? Yes! We're gonna deglaze the pan. Got a little tabby thing so it makes things easier to open, but it's really not that easy. I got a big piece. Shh, it's okay. I'll give you some wine in a second. Double wrapped, why? What is even the point? Ah! Oh my God, I broke the tab. Ah oh, yeah, here we go. What? That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Yes! Oh yeah. Is this how you're supposed to use this thing? I've clearly opened many bottles of wine in my lifetime. Oh. Yeah! You taste kind of sweet. All right, we're gonna give this a taste and then we're gonna see how. Tastes pretty sweet, but you know what? There's apple in this, so that works, right? Ah! You know what? That's all right. Well, that looks kind of cool. It's deglazed, so I'm gonna add the ghost pepper, purple cabbage. This is like a quarter of a purple cabbage. It's actually kind of nice. Got some sausage in here. This is two uh, sausages from Field Roast. Apple sage one, so it's a little sweet, which I think goes well with the wine. Lots of colors going on. Got some purple, although the purple's gonna get a little sad soon. My flex egg is getting really goopy looking. Ooh, look how goopy it is. I never have them this goopy before. I find this only happens with freshly ground ones. Still pretty crunchy. And that's why I can bite this. A teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder. There's a difference between garlic powder and granulated garlic, by the way. So this is the powder. So like a half teaspoon of cumin and some chili powder. Two teaspoons. All right, so this looks kind of good. Let's give it another taste. Could use a little spice. Actually, you know what? That tastes pretty good. So I'm gonna add some kale. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more liquid because it's getting a little sad. And I don't really wanna drink this wine, so I'm just gonna do this. Ah, oh, it's so much prettier now. Green makes everything better. I'm gonna add that spinach. Wow, it's like a little forest. Turn this off. I don't wanna cook this off anymore. Oh, so I'm gonna transfer this to this thing so it stops cooking. Ooh, ta-da. I love it. My rolling pin. You know what? Any flour. So I'm going to use some flour to dust this surface. Mmm, so pretty. 
gonna make sure this is well coated and roll this out. And I forgot the whole reason why I started this egg thing is to put some of it in here. And hopefully that'll keep things sticking together. Nice, look at that. I'm gonna make not enough pockets for this filling. That's okay, it's enough for dinner. So I'm gonna cut this into six. I'm gonna add some filling. You know what, maybe I'll fill more to one side. Okay, you know, things. this looks good. Uh, maybe I crimp the sides. They're like empanadas, but not really. Huh? Well, it's so soft. It's like a kitty cat. So, I feel like they need some sort of wash. Oh, I have some frozen chickpea water that I put in the ice cube trays. Baster. Basically, this is like the liquid from canned chickpeas. That kind of leaches out the protein from the chickpeas, I guess. It has a similar structure to egg white, which is why I'm pasting this on top. If you're making something sweet, you can also use this and maybe add like a little bit of sugar on top, a little crunch, but this is not that sort of situation. I feel like they need something on top. Maybe a crackle of pepper. There we go. Wow. Let's bake them. And then I'm gonna figure out what to do with this stuff. I put it in a container for now. That's a tomorrow problem. You put this on top of rice. And I'll see you once this is all cleaned and these are baked. Wow, look, it's so clean now. I gotta pull these out. Wait for it. Ah. Wow. That uh, aquafaba wash did the trick. Ooh, it's so puffy. Clearly the crimping did absolutely nothing because they just kind of unraveled but they kind of stuck together anyway. I guess they didn't really need to crimp them. I baked this for probably like 25 minutes, about 15 minutes at 400, and then I like I rotated the pan for another 15 minutes or 10 minutes. I don't know, just do it until it's golden. Everyone's oven is slightly different. Stop it! We're having dinner! No more candy! Woo! Wow! The kale looks like a little sad, but you know what? That actually looks super good. Sausage pockets! Let's give it a try. It's really hot. Mmm, it's good. If you have leftover veggies in your fridge, you should turn them into sausage pockets. If you want to see more videos like this about how to clean out your fridge with cooking random things, then you should probably like and comment and say and tell me that you like this uh, and subscribe so that I know that you guys want more. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. 